In health news tonight, just as GPS in the dashboard of a car can tell us where to drive, there is technology that tells surgeons exactly where to cut and how to go about operations like knee surgery. But why not just rely on a skilled surgeon for that? What about when the doctors themselves choose to rely on that technology? Our report on all of it tonight from our chief science correspondent, Robert Bazell. Just confirm her appointment. Jeffrey Chesky. A 50-year-old dentist suffered knee damage from skiing and bicycling accidents. I basically just had bone-on-bone -bone contact in, in my knee and had quite a bit of pain. But the injury was limited to one tiny area. Strain out that left leg. He didn't need a total knee replacement and turned to the latest technology for the precision repair. I believe in technology. Do you want to give it a try? Sure. Until recently, robotics, like this teaching system at UCLA, were mostly used by surgeons to operate more precisely in smaller areas. It's really amazingly easy to do. And what you're seeing here is a 3D model. With the system Dr. Andrew Pearl employed on Chutsky at the Hospital for Special Surgery in New York takes the technology to a higher level. With the knee locked in place, a system of cameras and imaging devices creates a virtual model so the surgical team can see exactly what is wrong and devise a plan to fix it. I can move it into the knee, bury it into the knee, bring it down to the edge of the knee, and literally put it exactly where I want it to. Once the plan is set, the surgeon carries out the operation. Point one there. By programming numbers into the robotic system, which guides the surgical equipment into place. A lot of people will call this type of technology a GPS for the OR. That is to say you have an additional guidance system that allows you to place your implant exactly where you want it. Five months after his surgery. I'm feeling wonderful. I have no limitations to anything I can do. I have no pain whatsoever. Chusky says his knee is as good as new. The robotic system is constantly being updated and generally appeals to younger surgeons. Um, quicker and less painful recovery. But many see it as playing a bigger role in the operating room of the future. Robert Bazell, NBC News, New York.